Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome again to English Paragraph Writing EPW course The topic for this video is review on EPW course part 2 If this is your first time to visit this video You may check the playlist And you can listen to video 1 To start this online English paragraph writing course. If you have any question or feedback, you may write down your question and feedback in the comment section. I would be very happy to answer those. Reviewing learning materials means that you connect ideas, theories, concepts or thoughts that you have read or studied throughout your course practicing means that you apply what you have learned into action without practicing what you have learned you might probably end up too theoretical therefore practicing is the key never afraid of making mistakes we all learn something from them as long as you did not intend to do the mistakes so my students, if you do the review of what you have learned, then your review will be very helpful for your understanding. After you, you review what you have learned, do not forget to practice it into real life so that you can make the best out of what you have learned. As you can see in the Writing One book, Part 2 of this review is about overall review on learning materials of English paragraph writing course. Listen carefully to the explanation and follow the guidelines in the following slides in this video. Academic paragraph is a paragraph that is written in the terms of academic nuance and academic context. The use of the paragraph is for academic perspectives or to discuss and debate academic topics. Academic paragraph is also beneficial for students to write because they will compose writing through academic perspectives and academic convention in the English as a foreign language in Indonesia and abroad. The first genre in English paragraph writing course is argumentative paragraph. Argumentative paragraph is a paragraph that is written to argue about an important issue in the society. The writer who writes argumentative paragraph tends to pick a side between two sides that are conflicting each other. Argumentative paragraph also tries to persuade readers about the opinion of the author. When you write about an object, a person, or something that can be described in the form of writing, then such writing is known as descriptive paragraph or descriptive genre. If the writing is as short as a paragraph, then it is a descriptive paragraph. In other words, descriptive paragraph is a paragraph that is written for the, with the purpose of describing an object, a person, or a one thing that can be observed and seen through the five senses of human beings. The way you explain how something becomes something else, or from A to B, is known as process. Process paragraph is a paragraph that is used to express about the process of how um, a being of an A to become a B. For example, the process of cooking a noodle, or the process of making a chocolate cake in your kitchen. The fourth genre that we learn in EPW course is cause-effect paragraph. 
cause effect paragraph is defined as a paragraph that explains about causal relationship of two items cause and effect several causes create several effects a certain cause creates a certain effect so this cause effect paragraph explains about this cause and effect connection the last genre that we learned in English paragraph writing course is known as comparison contrast paragraph. Comparison contrast paragraph is a paragraph that shows how two items have similarities and differences. This genre is close to descriptive, but it has more information about how two items can have comparative uh, relationship or similarities and differences each other I like this part one of uh, my students asked me about this question so what is good writing I found it on internet uh, what good writing is let me read it for you good writing has interesting ideas ideas readers want to know about organization readers can follow easily my own personal voice that sounds just like me word choice that says what i mean sentence fluency that makes it fun to read so the conclusion is good writing has ideas organization voice word choice and sentence fluency when you write you need to remember this workshop rules skip lines on your first draft write on one side of the paper no erasing cross out changes don't forget to label and date everything the last one is save everything the first lines skip lines in your first draft so the lines that you cross in your first draft should be omitted and on the type one side of the paper do not type it back and forth and then you do not need to throw out the changes just cross out just give the mark or something or symbol that you can use so that you can see the process of your writing don't forget to save it Alright, so this is our last video for English paragraph writing course and this is our 16th video. Thank you very much for listening to my explanation from video 1 up to video 16. I hope that the videos can be very useful for you. You can come back and watch it again anytime you like. If you have any question or feedback, you may write them down in the comment section. Until then, good luck with your studies, be honest when you write, never do plagiarism and do not plagiarize everyone's works and last one, be safe during this COVID-19 pandemic season. We hope that everything is going to be fine soon. Until then, have a good day. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.